Hello guys, welcome back to Raise Gaming Guitar Productions and today I will be showing you guys a new method of potentially boosting your game's FPS. Now the method I'm talking about today is using a GitHub application to force some games to render using the Vulkan API instead of the normal DX10, DX11, or DX12. Now I say some games because not every game will work smoothly, some games will completely refuse to launch or will crash at some points, but there are some games like Hitman 2016 that already support Vulkan but some games that don't might work with this application. Now first off you want to download the Vulkan SDK from the description. Once you do that you want to then download the GitHub application from the GitHub link in the description. Now that that's done, we can move on to forcing the games to run in Vulkan. First, you want to identify whether or not your game is 32-bit or 64-bit. If it's in Steam, it will contain a Steam API 64 or a Steam API DLL file. If the game contains a DLL file that has 64 in the name, then most likely it is a 64-bit game, but it should be fairly easy to identify. Now, depending on what your game runs with, whether it's DX12, DX11, DX10, or DX9, just copy and paste the right DLLs from this list into the same folder as your game's .exe file. Now, if you're trying this on a game like Hitman 2016 or Doom Eternal, which already supports Vulkan, then all you need to do is set the game's launch options to Dash Force Dash Vulkan, and it should work just fine. Now one thing I've seen people complain about is the lag at the beginning of the game, but that is because it's trying to compile and build all of these shaders for your game. But if you guys enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more.